Okay guys, I'm gonna make this video in response to some of the comments I've gotten on a clip that I recently made, or a couple of clips that I've already made. And the comments are very much the same. I've also gotten these comments in the past, and I've also had people ask me why I do these things when I do protection training. Now, if you do protection training, uh, what you see me do and what you do seems pretty standard, pretty normal to you if this is part of your weekly routine. You do this with dogs, you don't think about it too much. But for an outsider, for somebody who has a different perspective on the matter, they truly wonder about this. And this video is to address that concern. And the concern is, or question, concern, whatever you want to call it is, you know, why do you hit the dogs when you're doing protection work? Sometimes the question is genuine as to, I wonder why you do that. And sometimes the question is not a question, it's more of a comment of a complaint like, no, don't hit the dog with the stick. As though we're doing something really bad, people truly don't understand. So why we hit the dog with the stick? One, it is part of a lot of protection sports. There is gonna be some sort of stick activity. But even if, even if there is not a whole lot of hitting or like Mondia ring, where there is no actual hitting of the dog in Mondia ring, there is still stick action that is taking place. Now, it is part of the sport. It is supposed to test the dog's character in sports like French ring, sports like PSA, we're actually hitting the dog, right? We're actually hitting the dog. And its original purpose was to test the dog's character, to see, are you gonna stay in the fight? Are you gonna stay um, engaging that decoy while this decoy is trying everything he can to sabotage you, to hit you, put pressure on you. And it's supposed to be a test of that dog's character and to see if that dog is worthy enough to make it to that level and even in many instances to breed. But why we do it now and why we do it in training, part of it, yes it is for that, but even if your dog is not gonna see stick hits in the trial in the case of Mondia Ring, uh, even if that's the case, the stick is not just to test the dog's character. Well, a lot of times we do, we, you will do this with puppies. You'll see me do this with puppies a lot. And that's where people, you know, get their, uh, get their feelings kind of hurt. They're like, why, why are you hitting that puppy? And the reason that we do this even with puppies, we're not testing the puppy's character, but what we're doing is we're actually using it to activate the dog. We want the dog to know it is part of the game. It is part of the exercise. Right, we want it to be an activation. It's not so much of a slap in the face, like, who are you? Like, we're gonna beat you. It's more of a, like a tap, like, hey dude, come on, keep doing it. Yeah, yeah, that's right, keep doing it, keep doing it. And you'll see a lot of times, if you're careful enough, you pay attention enough, and you have a mild idea of dog body language, you could actually see that's exactly what it's accomplishing. Now we do have different types of sticks, different types of approaches, and different, uh, you know, different training sessions, different dogs, different stages of that dog's life is going to sort of point us in a particular direction as to how we're gonna use that stick. So for like the young dogs, for the young dogs, what we'll do is, I'll even start with something very, very thin, right? I'll even start with something like this. If you look at this, this is just one thin piece of bamboo. It's super thin. Um, you know, if I hit you with it pretty hard, you're definitely gonna feel this. Now, what I'm doing with the dog, if it's the puppy or if it's an adult dog, I'm just doing this so that they can kind of feel it, right? So uh, it's more of a tap, tap, let's bite. Tap, tap, let's bite. Uh, I know in protection training, it's very commonly used. There is, uh, you know, there are videos and, and a lot of people will go, you know, keep tapping the dog until they push. And once they push into the grip, then let go of the tap. There's certainly one way to do it. Uh, but I also like to use it as in, you push, perfect, you get a tap, tap. Like, excellent, good job, right? Hey, good job. It's more like a, like a, like a quick spank. Like, yeah, buddy, keep going. That's, that's it, right? So I'm not always using it as a tap, 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 push, good job, the tap goes away. I'm also using it as a boy, yeah buddy, 
basketball. It's just part of the game. I want this entire thing. Like dog is looking at me, biting at the sleeve, biting on the tug. I want this to be part of the game. I want it to I want this motion, this stick going to in the direction of the dog's head. I want it to mean an activation. So I'll use something like this a lot of times for the young dogs. Uh, I'm also going to use something uh, like this. Uh, this is a clatter stick and this is a very thin clatter stick. I'll probably, I tend to use these on puppies. Um, I'll use it on young dogs too that need, uh, that need to be acclimated to the, to the sound of the stick. Now this is an actual bamboo uh, stick that has been split. Okay, so you notice now it has a bit of a clatter sound. So that's exactly what these are called. These are called clatter sticks. Now with the clatter sticks, same concept. I'm gonna do tap tap, but it's also now adding some noise. So we actually want the dogs to love this. Now this does sound like it's bad, but trust me, it's not. It sounds louder than it actually feels. So as the dog is getting hit with it, right we're tapping tapping activating and this becomes synonymous to you're about to do something really fun which is bite work so this means you're gonna bite 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 pretty soon you bring the dogs out they even see the stick and they get pumped you do this forget it like that that becomes very arousing to the dog so um, then we'll do this, you know, with the younger dogs, with the puppy to let them know, yeah, buddy, when you feel this, when you hear this and like you're feeling it, this is part of the game. Dogs get super excited about it. So when you see me doing this with dogs, I'm not trying to justify anything here. You know, if you agree or disagree, I could not care less. I'm just explaining it to people who are actually interested. But when you see me doing this, when you look at my videos and I'm actually hitting the dog with it, uh, Pay attention to the dog's body language. You'll see that they're pumped. Like it, they want to push even more. Uh, so this we'll use for like the, the puppies, right? The, the really, really young dogs. Uh, it's not gonna hurt at all. If anything, it's gonna act, add enough of a tap to activate them and the sound will drive them crazy because we'll make that association. This means you're gonna get to do some fun. Uh, then other uh, type of clatter stick is now this we'll use for a, an older dog. Now once the dog is not a puppy anymore, but this is definitely has a thicker diameter, the clatter is much bigger. Uh, this is something we'll normally use for trials uh, or something we would use for a training session with a young adult or an adult dog that is not new to the game. Uh, because then in the, in the exercise or in the trial, we're gonna make a lot of noise but we're actually gonna also hit the dog. And once we go from that little clatter stick to the bigger clatter stick, by the time you get to this, the dog is already in love with this. The dog already loves this feeling and this becomes just a very arousing stimulus. So by the time we get into the trial field, by the time we start working the dog or testing the dog, you could even really actually hit the dog and if anything it's going to pump him up even more it's going to drive him deep into that deeper into that fight so um, that's one thing to be aware of right this is just part of the exercise now this is something you're going to see in uh, psa you're going to see this in french ring uh, you're not going to see this in igp kmpv you're not going to see this in mondial ring you're going to see this but again in mondial ring it's just mostly for show they're not actually hitting the dogs. We're also hitting the dogs. You have to remember we're, we're doing this in a tactful manner. We're not hitting the dog all over the place here. We're actually hitting the dog, you know, on the, like on the side right here. It's typically where we're going to do some of that clatter action. Where there's a lot of muscle. So even if you, even if I do this on me, it doesn't hurt at all. It makes more noise than anything. So as we're doing this again, part of the exercise, we're driving the dog and as we're driving the dog, we're hitting them right here, both sides of the back. Uh, we're not hitting them on the spine. Uh, we're not really hitting them on the neck. If anything, there's mostly like a lot of noise, a lot of action, but then we slow it down and then we tap the dog. So that's how we are using these. So obviously this is another type of clatter, sticks a little bit shorter. This right here will make more noise. Uh, this right here, it's pretty new. Um, you know, this is pretty new. The, the bamboo is also thicker. 
this needs to be broken in a little bit more but this has more uh, more thickness to it so when you hit the dog with it this is going to have more of an oomph to it but again we're doing it in a tactful manner we're doing it with a dog that is already a little bit more mature and that is sort of the that is sort of the process the reasoning behind the clatter sticks is yes a little bit to test the dog but mostly i would say like 98 percent of it is to arouse and activate the dog uh, because they really just fall in love with this whole process including the clatter sticks and they just absolutely um you'll see them just shine like if i were to do bite work as the helper with a dog without a clatter stick all i have is now you know my movements and my voice um and which, which is great right it'll be awesome but if i add the stick to the action you'll see these dogs absolutely love it even more um that's what I wanted to kind of bring up and uh, and that's just kind of how it is if you don't like it that's perfectly fine with me you don't have to like what I do uh, you don't have to even understand why we use clatter sticks it's just a good topic that I thought I would bring up and maybe if you are interested genuinely interested I just wanted to give you an explanation as to why